If you've opted into the Florida Teachers Classroom Supply Assistance Program, also known as Teacher Lead, then you will need to turn in your receipts and provide documentation for the money spent on your classroom this year. This tutorial will walk you through submitting your receipts online through Oracle. Before we begin, make sure to collect digital copies of all your receipts. If you have some on paper, you can scan them or take a photo and email it to yourself or upload it using your OneDrive. You can even group all your receipts into one image or if you have multiple files, collect them in a folder on your desktop, whatever is easiest for you. Don't forget, if you have a receipt that includes personal items, please circle or highlight the amounts spent for teacher lead. It will also be helpful to find the date of your first receipt and add all your receipts together to find a grand total spent this year. Let's get started. First, you're going to go to your V portal and log in and find the Oracle Fusion tile. Log in using the company single sign-on button. Here you see the Oracle homepage. Find and click on the Me icon first, and then the Expenses icon. This takes you to the Travel and Expenses page. We're going to create a new expense report by clicking Create Report on the left side of the page. In our expense report, we're going to type a title in the purpose field. Make sure to label it teacher lead. You can leave the rest of the fields blank. We're going to add our receipts into the expense items and to save time, we only need to create one expense item with all our receipts. When you're ready, click the plus button. On our expense item page, start by entering the first date that you made purchases from your receipts in the date field. For me, that was September. Under the template, make sure you select Florida Teachers Lead and the type is Classroom Supply. In the amount field, you're going to type $0. This is because you've already received the teacher lead money in your regular paychecks. Now you're just providing documentations on how you spent the money. Go to the description field and type in a simple description of your purchases, such as classroom supplies, and you can skip merchant name and go to your classroom supply amount. This is where you're going to add the grand total of all your receipts for the year. For me, that was $303.59. Before we finish, we need to add all of our receipts as attachments. So go up to the attachment session and click the plus button. Once the attachment pop-up opens, click the Choose File button and a file navigator pops up. Here I have all my teacher lead receipts in one place. I'm going to select my first receipt and type in a description that makes sense to you. If you have more to add, you'll just click the plus button here and you'll see that another field pops up. Choose your next receipt. Add a description. And I'm going to do one more receipt.
Once I have all my receipts, I'm going to click OK. And just take another look at my expense item. It looks good, so I'm going to close my expense item and go back to my report. Here's my teacher lead expense report. You can see I've attached my classroom supplies. The total is zero. All you have left to do is click the checkbox for the expense policy, save your work, and now you can submit all your teacher lead receipts. If you have any issues, please call Tech Support, extension 20,000, option 3, Oracle Support.